So the next part is the end, the end part, which is abortion simply because you are pregnant and you don't want it. So all I can say is, I think what has to happen is there has to be more responsibility concerning sex. Um, because when it comes to abortion, that means the problem is already so far, you know, so far, like so far gone. And this problem should have been nipped in the bud, like it, should have, it shouldn't even have been a problem. Because, you know, we are in 2019 and uh, we, women are emancipated, the modern woman is emancipated and educated. And so are men, because it takes two to tango. Getting pregnant, ladies, I know you don't believe it, but it takes two people to get pregnant. It takes a man and a woman. So both should be responsible for ending the life or for, for continuing, continuing to support this life. But even before that, I'm now in the part where I'm talking about the responsibility of the responsibility people have to take to prevent the problem getting as far as abortion. Because by the time it gets to abortion, it means it's a, a big issue already. The problem should be nipped in the bud before the sex happens. And um, Both the man and the woman has to take responsibility for procreating and if there's going to be abortion, for the abortion. You cannot just leave it all on the woman. Uh, and women, although, you know, we try to be so, oh, I'm, I'm on my own, I don't need a man. Uh, no, when it comes to making a baby, you do need a man. I don't know how else you're going to make a baby without even if it's not the man physically, but without his sperm. It's not going to happen. And then men have to be realized that it's their sperm that makes the baby. Because they're the one that's taking the sperm and putting it into the body to make the baby. So they have to be responsible for that. And the woman, on the other hand, is, must be held responsible for allowing the sperm to come into a body. So it's two, two people. Two people have to take responsibility. And um, the way... I like it. Stephen Crowder has four ways to stop people from having abortion. He says there's four common sense ways how you can stop abortion from happening. Number one is abstinence from sex. Makes sense. That's 100% foolproof. Number two is birth control. If both people are practicing birth control, it's 99.9999999999% foolproof. If it's only one, it's maybe 99%. But if you are so adamant that you don't want to get pregnant, but you want to have sex, then you have to be responsible. You have to be responsible, and whoever you're having sex with also has to be responsible. You know, there's nothing casual about sex. Because sex leads to the creation of another life. There is nothing casual about creating another life. I don't know where people got it into their minds that it's casual. I don't know who's been... Well, I know people have been... It has been propagated for years. But it, that is not true. There's no such thing as casual. It's never casual. Somebody's going to get hurt. Okay, that's number two. Third thing to avoid abortion is motherhood. Which means carry the baby to term. And the fourth thing to avoid abortion is adoption. Put the child up for adoption if you don't need, if you don't want it. Don't throw it in a dustbin or don't kill it before it's born. Just give it up for adoption. End of story. There are so many people who can't have children who would most happily take your child. So many. I know of so many going around the world looking for people 
to adopt babies. There are gay couples who want, who want children. Of course, most of the gay community want to have nothing to do with children. But anyway, there are many who want children and they don't mind adopting. So that's all. It's just what I'm just saying is it's just, just be responsible, right? No judgment call. It's just be responsible, right?